Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's educational videos. This is Mr. Stansfield and today we're going to be talking about how to resize an image. This is a picture I took of the MC Esoteric, one half of 7L and Esoteric, also part of the group Zarface. I took this picture for Steez Magazine. Today we're going to look at how to resize for a screen and how to resize for a print. Both are going to be under here, image, image size, and the shortcut key is command option I. For resizing for a screen, such as Google Slides, PowerPoint, or the web, we're going to be just looking at the pixel dimensions, this top half right here. Before we get into it, we want to make sure that these three things are checked. They are, so I'm going to find the longer of the two, width and height, and I'm just going to plug in, because the height is the longer of the two, the bigger of the two numbers, I'm going to plug in 1,000 pixels. That's it. I click OK, and the image has been resized. It looks really small on my screen, but if I go over here, you can see it's 18.91% on the navigator. If I make that 100%, it looks pretty good on the screen. Let's hit that little green button right there. Pretty decent. So I'm going to go edit, undo, image size, and then we're going to talk about how to do this for printing now. You can see at 100% this image is really, really big. You can see all kinds of things happening up close. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and zoom out using the navigator right here, make it a, a, a manageable size that we can use and see. Back to image, image size. Now we're not concerned with pixel dimensions right now, we're concerned with document size. What we're going to do first and foremost is change the resolution. Now this is already set to 300, but typically your photos will be 72 or 180, some other number in there. So you just want to plug in 300. Now the width and the height, same thing, we want to find the longer of the two numbers, make sure this is set to inches, and then change that height to 10. If it's if the, wider, uh, if the width is longer, then you're going to change your width. The longer of the two sides, change to 10. Once again, these three should be selected, and then the last step is going to be down here. There are five options. The only ones we care about are the bottom two. And we're going to go back up to this pixel dimensions. It says it was 45. It's now 17. That means it was bigger. It's now smaller. So we're going to go down here and choose bicubic sharper, which is best for reduction. This step is pretty important for printing. It's not so important for the screen resolution. So everything looks good here, 300 pixels per inch. The longer of the two sides is set to 10. I don't care about what the width ends up being as long as these three are checked. And then bicubic sharper because we went from 45 to 17, so we're getting smaller. Click OK. Once again, this image appears to be smaller, but if I go over here and choose 100%, it's going to be a good size for printing. Okay. So that's how we're going to resize using Photoshop for screen resolution and for printing. I will add that later we may end up making bigger or smaller prints. So the only thing that we would change in that case if we were to make bigger or smaller prints would be this document size right here. The resolution is more or less always going to be 300. We may edit that in a pinch, but for the most part we want to keep that at 300 and we would change the width or the height later if we're making a bigger or smaller print.